guys, welcome back to another episode of Gunner TV. Today, we have a very special guest, Cinnamon Toast Ken. Yay, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I've been wanting to make a video with you for a long time. And is that my cat? Right there by, is that my cat? Uh, no. How did he get there? I, we have been feeding him. He's been drinking water. He's fine. Focus on the video, Ken. We're we're doing a video right now. We'll worry my, about that later. But my cat is there. That's a different story for another day. Worry about that later, Ken. Do you feel violated by that, Ken? Betrayed, maybe. Now let's go with violated, because today we're looking at people getting violated on Twitter. Wow, wow. Really? Yeah. Ugh, what did I sign up for? Jesus Christ. Uh, well, you know, not like that. I mean. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, we are taking a look at Community Notes Violating People Twitter page. This popped up the other day, actually. It was like, it was something about a brain, but it was like a walnut or something like that. Oh, yeah, that one's, that one's like right here. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> These are the lungs of a 10-year-old child that grew up in a home with a gas oven. They're not supposed to look like. That. that is a picture of a walnut. Twitter added, sorry, X added community notes, which is like Wikipedia for knowledge for tweets. Open source, anyone can vote on the correct information and the most votes will show up below a tweet to correct any information that's wrong in the tweet. So I should take it with a grain of salt still to whether or not it's actually true. But they have moderators too, and none oh, of the moderators okay. are from Twitter, so... We kind of trust it the same way you trust Wikipedia, which is like 99% of the time. It's like whenever I'm looking at news articles, I just read the title and take whatever the title says is fact. Well, how many likes do those news articles have, you know? It's true. If they have a lot, then I got to trust it. It's popular. That's how it goes. Would you like to take this one away, Ken? All right. Let's see. I'm 40 and I don't date girls over 24. My girlfriends are 20, 21, and 24. The 24-year-old I've been with her since two years. Too much mileage and baggage when they're older than that. Trust me, I've tested it extensively. So I recommend you I recommend you do the same. 18, 24 only. Understand the game. Okay, is it was he Leonardo DiCaprio? He can't date them if they get reached a certain age. Yeah, I think that's his alt account. <laughs> I just showed my family recently that graph. They couldn't believe it. It's I mean it's always been creepy, but it's getting more and more creepy. You you have so, a wife, right? Is she twenty yeah. one? <laughs> no, no, she, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna share her age sorry, because sorry. she's a lovely and beautiful beautiful woman full of vigor and I didn't mean I to put you, you on the defense here. <laughs> <laughs> she is younger than me though. She is like six years younger than me. Well, you just kind of gave it away, but okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, you ready for the community notes of this though? I am, but I was looking like the second picture there. It's just like a stock photo. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow, you should be on the community notes team. Did you yeah, write this one? on there. <laughs> they look like the same guy back there. It looks like it's like a slimmer, slimmed down version of him that's way younger. Because he is 40 here. He looks like he's 24 over here. That's right. That's exactly how I look like. Post that. This is the ideal world over here. Understand the game. Oh my God. Um, give me one second. I'm going to turn down the AC one more degrees i'm like getting a sweat <laughs> it's okay it's okay to be nervous you know, i'm not I'm nervous saying. got my cat he's good he's fine and i wasn't nervous i don't get nervous i'm never nervous unless we're talking about something super random like i don't know someone trying to steal my identity but luckily i have aura the sponsor of today's video look i'm getting to the point where i'm getting tired of receiving so many spam calls i don't even pick up the phone from my own mother anymore she could be a hacker the reason these robocallers and spammers keep calling is because data brokers are making a fortune selling them and others our information but with aura they can identify the data brokers exposing your info and submit opt-out requests on your behalf data brokers are legally required to remove your info if you ask them to but they make it really hard to do on purpose i think it's really easy to set up and you get a ton of other security features like parental controls antivirus vpn password management identity theft insurance and more all at one affordable price and i mean wow are you kidding me I mean, can we even sell it for that? So let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so you can stop worrying all the time. I'm not sure you're my real mom. Wait, I have Aura now. Mom, how are you? It's been years. You can either let people continue to exploit and profit off your private information, or you can go to Aura.com slash Gunner to start your two week free trial. Also linked below in the description. And thank you Aura for sponsoring this video. Now back to me, hopefully being less sweaty. Or well and good, it is good, okay. Setting up our Christmas tree, but it's made out of deer antlers. I had the audacity to say no animals were harmed as if the antlers just fell out painlessly. Deer shed their antlers painlessly <laughs> once a year. <laughs> Wait. Do I believe that one? I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm from Mississippi originally, and we do a lot of hunting down there. I don't think deer antlers just completely fall off. All right, stake, stake your bet, Mississippi man. What do you think? All right, I don't think the antlers 
fall off. Okay. Antlers drop annually in late winter. Really? They just... Look how, look how gross that is. Jesus Christ. Ew. Oh, they're like bloody. Okay, when they said no animals were hurt, this still looks painful. <laughs> oh, we all know deer shed their antlers. No, we don't. Have you ever watched no. it happen? You Me can either. tonight, though, because the moment was caught on camera. Take a look at this. The video what? was taken by a game camera in Northfield. It knocks them off. We slowed it down for you. And you can see the buck quickly shaking his head. Whoa. And the antlers snap off and fall onto the ground. So you bought into community notes now? Yeah, uh, they, they know what they're talking about. I've learned <laughs> something. After, after all these years of having to like go to work and these rednecks be like, oh, kill me a big old buck. Never knew that they just You just their found them the on the side of the road. What do you mean to kill the deer for this? <laughs> yeah, really? I had no clue. Wow. I do not blame this comment whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, I've been looking at that going like, yeah, you definitely killed. Yeah, you killed hundreds. Hundreds of deer. <laughs> you buying this is the same person? This user has digitally manipulated the second image to enlarge the women's breasts for some reason. <laughs> oh, that's not what I thought it was. <laughs> Have you seen the uh, the post of someone like putting it in like my, uh, what is it, Microsoft Paint? And, like, yeah, and that acts like it was face scanned. Like, this is, this is not the same lady. It's all, uh, get my tinfoil hat out. This is not real. She thinks they're not real. She's not real. I don't even know what the conspiracy theory would even be. <laughs> all right, you want to do the next one? It can be a long one. Barely read as it is. <laughs> yeah, mine was like a YouTube sentence. For a living. You think I can read a sentence? Good God. Breaking my Twitter silence to let y'all know my fam presenting ass was denied service at a bar in Manhattan because I was visibly gay. I'm safe, I'm fine, but if it's happening to me in New York, fucking city, drop it. It's happening everywhere. Your queer friends need your solidarity. solidarity. The community notes just said straight up this person is in a heterosexual marriage. <laughs> yeah, I was just taking that in for a second. I was like, wow. Wait, what's the other picture? There's another one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess they delete their account following well, after that. That's such a weird tweet if you're not actually gay. <laughs> this racist Target employee called the police station on us for dancing at Target, so we danced anyway. And it's like 20 people doing like a flash mob music video dance routine. And the people at Target are just like, we can't have you dance. Like, there's too many of you. Like, we right. can't have you all here. Yeah, co community notes came at them right away. There's no evidence that the employee is racist. <laughs> Target has a policy that shopping should be distraction free from the video. It would appear that the group is filming a dancing, soliciting attention, which is against Target policy. So they did what probably would happen if you brought 20 people and started dancing in any establishment. In any store. Yeah, I don't. Uh, that was a, a while to just like attack the workers. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh, God, I've seen this. Everything oh, really? is burnt, but the trees. But don't point that out because you're a conspiracy theorist. Some plants are able to survive wildfires due to a layer of thermal insulation provided by their bark, dead leaves, or moist tissues. Oh. <laughs> Is this part of the space laser theory for Hawaii right now? <laughs> yeah, I think I think so, right, yeah. If you, like, really look at it, like, a lot of the trees are kind of burnt. Like, even that one palm yeah, tree. Yeah, even they still kind of are, right? Yeah. Back in America, like, my next door neighbor's house burned down. A few of the trees around his house kind of also caught on fire, but didn't spread to the entire forest because they are a little bit fire resistant, right? For people to see like one fact and then immediately jump down conspiracy theory hole is terrible. I think the craziest part of like the conspiracy theories is that they won't believe anything on the internet unless it's something dumb like that. Like they'll, yeah. they'll believe that, but like you try to correct them. They're like, no, nah, what, what do you know? <laughs> Trees resistant to fire? Sure. That's crazy. Bro, cannons are not lethal. Out of most cannon shots fired in history, how many, how many do you think fucking hit a person? Less than 1%. Modern guns are too lethal. If you had a cannon versus an assault rifle, the assault rifle would kill more. That's why they need to be banned. Jesus fucking Christ. Corrected in community notes, cannons are in fact lethal. I get that he's trying to say that they hit less people, sure. They're still very lethal. Yeah, absolutely. That's, so that's the wrong way to start your argument. Bro, <laughs> yeah. cannons? I could take one. <laughs> Hit me. Go right now. I'd seen one on one of these Twitter slash X posts that had like a medieval armor that had been hit by a cannonball and it was just like in half. Nah, if, if it was me though, nah, not shot. I'd catch it. I'd just catch it, you know. Mm. You catch it, I'd bounce it off my belly. Oh, actually, I reposted this one myself. Oh, really? It was the same one, actually. What would you do in this situation? And my response was, you just hang out 
like a normal person because <laughs> what would you do in the situation insinuates that it's like sexually charged in some yeah, way. Yeah, they should have sex right. with all five of them right now. This is yet again another hidden paid advertisement. The woman in this picture responded and he replied to boost them so it's a minor following and subscribe to their porn. No, no shit. A group and paid to promote porn to minors. Wait, what? Oh. What? Hold on, that last part, what? I didn't see the community notes on this one. That's crazy. I don't feel like I can really add to that because I'm yeah. in trouble for life. <laughs> you know? If community notes got the antlers one right, I mean, there's no way yeah. to do wrong about this one uh, right no oh, man <laughs> but i saw a... i saw a similar one at least in the vein of like the paid advertisement one too have you seen the the women's posting l's one? Oh yeah 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 i have actually the same thing where he just makes a post and then it's her paying for a paid advertisement it's like are you not making fun of her <laughs> were you not trying to make fun of her content creation in general i mean this is my old man take but lay it on me i'll start off with saying this is that i'm a very lazy youtuber i i do reaction content now you know a very minimal effort hey man you added a but, lot to my video that one time <laughs> but content creation is like it's so lazy now it's god doing paid sponsorships of anything there's rules you gotta follow like I have yeah to, like, hashtag ad i have hashtag to like ad. disclaimers and then reaction stuff you have to you're supposed to make it transformative and you know people are just like re-uploading the videos now so then people people aren't like disclosing anything people aren't like crediting they're not they're just not doing all the basic things yeah i thought we were always like on the trajectory up to like yeah. solve all this stuff and now it's like so quickly over like two years gone right back down to where we started it's kind of like the whole scene is just redoing the same mistakes that my generation of youtube has already done well, that's, yeah for. that's what happens you come in now you got like 19 to 20 you know four year olds i can't be over 24 <laughs> and i come out and i'm like hey you kids shouldn't be doing this like shut up grandpa the heck <laughs> get back in the closet go back to the react <laughs> home <laughs> People just kind of sit there and watch something and go, huh? The million views. Woo! Yeah, I can't talk. That's literally how I got a million views. <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> All righty. From Uber, when, when you drive with at Uber, you're the boss. Okay. Uber advertises earn like a boss. However, in reality, Uber drivers com compensation averages 11.77 per hour. Gee, that's that bad. Uh, they're still mm. definitely working for your company. I don't think they feel like they're a boss. You never see like an Uber driver like launch a course where they're like, you can become your own boss today like me. Just follow my <laughs> system. They they sign up for Uber. You, you know, just sign up for the, the what is it, the... the the war room or whatever, you know, 50 bucks a month. I feel like if you're an Uber driver, you should get compensated based on like your schooler. So I've had some is. great Uber drivers, you know, you see that 99%, hey, you're going to get it in time, but like give them extra money. I mean, I'm not, I mean, I could tip them, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, I will tip them too, but you know, I just, you know, Uber help them out. If they've got a really good score, they're doing really well. They got a good track record. Why don't you, why don't you tip them? Why am I tipping them? Pay your own employees. You even tip, is Australia to do tipping? It's available, but it's not like a, it's not like it customary. is in America. Like it's like expected in America. Like you got to tip everybody. Yeah. Like, you know, you pay for your food at the restaurant and pay your, your waitress or waiter because the company's not going to do it, right? I had a buddy from uh, from Mexico City. He refused to tip on the bill afterwards. And we were like, no, you have to. Like, you have to do that. He's like, I'm not going to do it. No, we don't do that in my country. I'm like, no, you it's you can't do that. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> it's rude here. It's like, they're getting paid like $3 an hour, man. They live off tips. You got to pay them. People on here be like, cigarettes are bad for you. Source the FDA. Cigarettes are bad for you. Source the <laughs> FDA. Wow. <laughs> Who else do you need to fucking tell you cigarettes are bad? Ask any doctor. Why I rent supercars over buying them. Oh, Jesus, a lot here. <laughs> the vehicle pigeons video in a prior post. All right. He'd been identified as the car leased out by Turo.com. According to their TOS, they do not lease to persons under 21 years of age. The vehicle is likely leased to Dylan's parents. Wow. Dylan. <laughs> they did a full top to bottom analysis and then came out with the conclusion that it was leased by his parents as well. That's great. I come from the, the old man time of flexing and doing all that stuff was in bad taste and it was not good for your YouTube career. But now it's like, you gotta, you gotta like go out there, you got your Rolex, you're flexing, you're on top of the world, you got money, it's probably your parents' money and you haven't ever... What's the appeal? Like where, what, what makes people like that? I don't think this works anymore, to be honest, of the people flexing oh. their cars and stuff. Usually they'll start out with like, I don't have any fancy cars, like, you know, whatever, like, we, we've come full circle to Ty Lopez, kind of just like, here in my garage, well, actually, no, he had cars no. in the garage, but it's like, <laughs> here I am just in a warehouse or whatever, just here's where I work, you know, here's where I grind, and there still are a lot of 19 to 21 year olds, though, that try to make it work with this kind of, this kind of gimmick. 
But I don't mm. think it works anymore. As a fellow that. youngin, that's just my my opinion. I'm glad I, I got to ask you youngins these questions. I don't have a I don't have my finger on the pulse of content creation or what's what's hip and cool these days. What's lit, fam? <laughs> <laughs> I did buy the course though. I did buy Dylan's course though. I, I had to check it out just in case. So I, you know, oh. I've come to learn since, but he did get me. He did get me at first. Damn, he's good. I saw this picture before. Is this really happening? It's showing how men <laughs> from the 1940s have gotten less hulkish and then it's transformed oh. into whatever this alien, <laughs> this alien AI image is in the 20 in the 2040s. This is what this is what your average man is going to look like. Uh, age 25. Height 1.57 meters, which I can imagine is probably like, what, five feet? Okay, not, not even maybe. Yeah, maybe five feet. This photo is from a fetish website featuring sexual fantasies in which white men become weaker over time in order to submit to black men. <laughs> wow. What website is that? You know, just asking for a friend and everything. I, you know, I, I'll send it to you after the video. I have nice. no idea. Man who spent 20K to transform himself into a border collie steps out for the first time ever to walk in public. The title of the tweet is misleading as the man did not transform himself into a border collie. He simply <laughs> put on an expensive, hyperlistic border collie fursuit. Thanks, okay. community notes. Wow, thank you. That one's stupid as fuck. <laughs> I thought that was like some full metal alchemist stuff coming. You know, they combine the two. Uh, yeah, yeah. The that's, he actually transformed the elements of that street mm. road into, into a dog. I know of two British women in a well-known London hospital came back from Turkey with no kidneys. The organs were literally stolen while the women were under anesthetic. We know it's coming in with humans cannot live with no kidneys. <laughs> I finished reading that one. I was like, wait, they don't have kidneys? I imagine they mean one kidney from each. <laughs> I mean, it's the internet. You can't really trust anyone. Well, good uh, thing we have community notes to keep yeah. everyone in line. I just love when they come in with like the facts, like the article citation. That's just like so clearly. <laughs> oh, you got to You got to prove that claim, actually. You know, there's that one person in the like the they'll be down there in the replies. Like, oh, whatever. You know, my grandma, she she didn't have kidneys for three years. I just relink the article. Be like, bro, <laughs> like, dude, you can't trust the up. FDA these days. They're all just trying to make money. It's the government. I'll prove it. Shoot me with a cannonball. I can live with no kidneys. <laughs> Do it. Yeah. This is a news report Twitter account that I think often lies, I believe. <laughs> oh, I've seen this one too. Yes. The inc incredible moment captured on video is a shark takes an injured sea turtle to humans on a boat so they can help save it. Okay, there's no fucking shot. <laughs> yeah, the, the shark's like trying to eat it the whole time. I can't. I don't. I, I don't even see the video. We can't even see the video. And there's. An, I don't believe that for an ounce of a second. As expected from the Daily Loud, <laughs> this footage mm. was edited and spliced to present an alternative narrative of the shark trying to save a turtle. In the original video, the fishermen rescue the turtle from a tiger shark after the turtle tried to climb aboard their boat. God, good good job, Daily Loud. You've, you've lost all credibility. I can't trust you anymore. If I was on the community notes team, I think I might join after this video. I would mm. love to try to like, if you do the correct note, it must be like a speed thing. Cause if you're the first, you could probably sneak something in like this, like as expected from the <laughs> daily right. loud, you know? Get in there quick. I'm an alpha, liberals fear me. The conservative crusader, voice of the future. And then that is not his real face, I believe. Josh is misrepresenting his actual physical identity. His actual identity is shown on his profile in this link. God damn, they link to the photo too. <laughs> oh, what does he look like? Just <laughs> pimply, bigger face. Uh, he didn't even look like an alpha to begin with. Dude, that's so clearly edited. That's terrible. Oh my God. He's got like the Neanderthal forehead going on. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a noticeable difference. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm an alpha. Look at Chad I am. And then there's another one because he got he got pretty pissed. I think this is like this is like the original getting violated by Twitter <laughs> by Twitter community notes. So then he oh, did the this OG. tweet. Abolish, Abolish community notes. <laughs> community notes. Josh was previously called out by community <laughs> notes <laughs> for misrepresenting his physical appearance. <laughs> <laughs> At least he changed his profile picture back to, you know, what he actually looks oh, like. Oh, yeah, he actually he went in for an hour. <laughs> nice. That's got to be the same person that did the first community notes. They're like, oh, fuck this guy. I'm getting I'm getting right back on his ass. <laughs> this is such a political. I'm not, I'm not even surprised that he's, like, running for anything. He's like, I'm a boss. Them. They called me out. Get rid of the fact checkers. Ah! Actually, that was a perfect one to end on. That is the end of the page. So they're still know. adding. That, that was, like, the first ones. We went all the way down. We did it. The whole thing. Everything they got. Did you have fun, Ken? I did. I had a lot of fun. That was good. You had fun violating people? It's pretty weird. Yes. <laughs>
That's the video today, folks. A uh, big thank you to Cinnamon Toast Ken for gracing us with your appearance on my channel. And uh, please go subscribe to him. Very nice, funny guy. Makes really good videos. He says they're lazy. I think they're great. Thank you. Thank you. And you got any, you got any more words for the people, Ken? Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. And uh, I'm still going to need that cat back. Oh, yeah. I got you with that links after, too. Yeah, yeah. Thank you.